Rubik's Searching. Find any items in seconds. And you can do so from three separate locations. You can search from the browser itself. You can also search from within Sidekick. And you can search with the mobile app. Each of these virtual locations access the same database. And there are seven ways in which to search. The first is by the name of files and the containers they reside in. So for example, you can search by a cabinet name or a drawer name. And one of the great advantages to electronic document management over physical document management, each person can have his or her own drawer. So in this example, Cindy Grant is part of the HR cabinet as a pretend employee here. You can also search for the names of folders and the documents themselves. You can also search by profile information within the browser, Sidekick, and mobile apps. However, the last five ways to search are reserved for the browser itself. So if I'm in the browser, then this is what I would see. I'd be able to choose, for example, the name if I just want to search for the name of something, or if I want to search for the profile of something, or if I want to search who created an item, and the comments. You can place a comment on every single container. You can place a comment on a cabinet. You can place a comment on a drawer, a folder, or files themselves, and they're searchable. And I'll demonstrate this in a few minutes. You can also do a full text search. Because of OCR, you can actually search for words within a document. And there is a path search that I'll demonstrate and the advanced search. Now, there's also a default. So when you do a basic search, searches for the name, profile, and full text search. So a basic search is at the top of a browser. You just click in here and do a search. And by doing so, this is what you'll be searching for, name, profile, and full text search. Obviously, when you're in here, you can change that. So let's take a live look now at the software and do some searching. I'm inside my e-file cabinet, Rubix. I'm going up to the upper right here under the search window, and I'm going to search the word Graceland and enter and two documents come up one is a 2017 brochure and the Graceland Cemetery so up here I am going to research I'm going to remove the full text search and the profile search and search again for Graceland and you can see obviously that this was found just by the name of the file here and let's go back and do a full text search again and let's see what comes up and so here is a brochure so let's click on the brochure and see what comes up here and look at this preview window. And now this is Elvis Presley, a brochure on Graceland. Now notice also everywhere the word Graceland appears in this document has been found because of the full text search, the OCR search. And there's 29 results of where this word appears. And this window allows me to narrow down and look closer at any part of this document and over on the left here I can click on any one of these document items here and drill down to other places the word Graceland exists so that is a full text search now let's come over here to the Graceland Cemetery and let's see that also has the word Graceland in the document itself and here is a map of the cemetery and there's the word Graceland it appears four times and this cemetery is just a few blocks north of Wrigley Field in Chicago if you're familiar with that and so let's go back and I will now demonstrate a profile search and an advanced search in preparation to do so I'm going to go to the human resource cabinet and create a new user so I'll right click on the cabinet itself and go down to new drawer and this person's name is Gildersleeve an old radio character from the 1940s and 50s his first name is Throckmorton now watch what happens when I hit the enter key it automatically populates the folder structure because of the templates now I'm gonna move this browser to the right a little bit and you'll see I have a document here which is a social security card for Gildersleeve in the permanent folder I have a subfolder 
called Social Security. And I'm going to take this document and then drag it into this area here. And so now a copy of this is going up to the cloud that quickly. And let's take a look at that. I'll click on it and take a preview. And you can see it there. It's up there very, very, very fast. Now let's look at the profile in the detailed menu is over here. You can see this little check shows that a profile has been established and it is a social security profile that I've put in there in the template. Now let's add some information here. I'm just going to add the word SS number sign. And the reason I do that and I can put the other information here. Let's do that. We can put his name in here. Okay and I think his social security number is a bunch of threes. There we go. And let's apply this new profile. So this SS number sign is a profile item that I have placed in connection with everybody's social security card. So when I do a search up here, you'll see what happens. Let's leave this area entirely and just come somewhere else. And up here, I'm going to do a search for SS number sign, just the basic search. And every one who has a social security card comes up. Now let's pretend I have a thousand employees and there they are and I know each one of these represents a social security card. Now instead of having to eyeball it, let's say I'm looking for Elvis Presley's social security card. I can do an advanced search and find it very very quickly. So here's the one item. I'm going to come over to advanced search and I'm going to come over here and it says type. I have a drop down and I have a number of choices here but I'm going down to the profile value and I'm going to type in Elvis and I'm going to click on the plus sign to add this so I have SS number sign and I have the other profile value of Elvis so this is going to narrow the search again pretend there's a thousand cards here I'll click on the search button and there's Elvis's card and so I can come over here and click and peek at it very quickly and see it as I come up to the preview screen and click on that little eyeball. And so there is Elvis Presley's Social Security card. I can come over here and go to the location of where that card exists in the tree view and can find it very quickly. Look for the highlighted folder. So you can see that this is the Social Security folder for Elvis Presley. There's the card. And you come up here and you can see there's Elvis Presley's drawer. Now let's go back to the search again. I'm going to come up here and you can see here's two searches. It saves the searches until I clear them out. Now here's the search I did for just the Social Security card right here. And let's say I want to save this and make it easier in the future. I come to the right and there's a little icon here which allows me to save that. And now let's go somewhere else and then come back to this. And if ever I just need to pull up Social Security's cards again, I can click here and then just click the Saved Search. And so there it is. From here, now I'm going to do a comment search. So I'm going to just search for a comment. And a couple of weeks ago, I was driving to work and I saw this beautiful sunrise. So let's search in comments for the word sunrise. And there it is, Utah County Morning Picture. It was just one of these, had to be there to see it, and I had my camera. So let's take a peek at this picture that I took as I was driving with my wife to work. She was driving, and there it is. There is that sunrise. I'm looking east towards the mountains. This is Mapleton, Utah over here, and I live South Spanish Fork. My wife was driving me to the train so I can come to work up in Lehigh. But how did we find that? Over in the detailed menu, you can see it says comments, and there's one comment in here. And let's take a look at it. And there I put a note looking east from I 15 towards Springville and Mapleton, Utah. Beautiful sunrise. So I could have put any of this in that search. I knew the word sunrise existed, and that's what I did. And so let's take a look as to where this document resides. 
and you can see there is the document and there is the Utah sunrise and this was in February a couple weeks ago so I'm now going to bring in sidekick and do a search for this same document by its name so I'll come up into the search area here and just type in Utah County morning and search and there is the document let's take a peek at it and the preview window for sidekick comes up and so there we have it so now we're seeing it in sidekick and also in the browser and I can open this up also in the sidekick browser okay close it so I'm going to come back to this document and as I hover you can see a little heart come up this allows me to click in the heart and make this document one of my favorites so when I go up to the portfolio up here you're going to see here are my different portfolios you can have as many as you want and this is my favorite portfolio you see now that this document is in this folder also as one of my favorites and as one of my favorites I want to bring in the mobile app and this is really cool I have mirrored my smartphone so you can actually see it here on the screen as I demonstrate this and so I'm going to use my fingers as you look in the bottom of my smartphone here there's an e-file cabinet icon and I'll click on that and that brings me into the mobile app I've already logged in and you can see there's my business and all my cabinets so I'm going to go to a place if I come right here I can search this is where I can actually search within the mobile app but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to home and you can see there's a heart there in the center and in that heart tells me I have one favorite now it's not a cabinet it's not a drawer it's not a folder there is the favorite and there's my photo that I took and so I can look at that right here inside the mobile app that quickly and there is the picture that I took and uh, that's really really cool it gives you mobility and portability as you travel around and so you can see here very quickly also I am going to come over here and there is my camera so you can see that this is the office I'm in and, and there I am again so I have just a couple more things to share and uh, we're almost done so let's move on the next search I'm going to show you is that of a user and so I'm going to uncheck each one of these boxes except for created by and I'm going to put the name of one of the users here and that is Paul's tax and that's one of the users and I'll do a search and I'll get quite a return Paul's been active but let me narrow that search using the advanced search tools so what I'm going to do here is come over and what type I want to date created and so what I want to do is after December 5th so let's come over here and find December 5th 2018 and I'll hit the plus button here and then add another date range and this would be before December 10th and click on the plus and then let's do a search and so now I've been able to narrow Paul's tax who is a user in this account during this period of time and see that he has created cabinets and drawers the final search I'm going to do is that of a path and so I'm going to look for Bueller who is a client and I'm going to type his name and find out all the places his name may appear in a path and there we go so here are the paths that have Bueller's name in it and you can see Bueller John Bueller John Bueller John correspondence and so that is another way in which you can search by using the path feature okay this concludes Rubik's searching find any items in seconds thanks so much for watching and have a nice day